I'm Susie. It's hard being an empty nester and your kids are grown and don't really rely on you for a lot anymore. So it's great that now I've got these dogs and they're kind of my purpose. They're a little too much of my purpose. I've got Isabella and she's an English bulldog. I've had Izzy the longest. She is about eight years old now. She is not the smartest dog in the world, but she is very sweet. Kane showed up when he was about four weeks old. That was three years ago. He is 95 pound Staffy Pit Cane Corso mix. I always say he's like Shrek. He has no idea how big and terrifying he is, but he's just a big heart. And then Tricky is new to the pack. She came here about six months ago, and Tricky is just under a year old, and she's also a little pit bull mix. She's probably one of the most affectionate dogs that I've ever seen. I love them so much. And I don't like really talking about these things, but I went through a great deal of trauma in a very short amount of time. They were what I needed to not feel alone with all of the things that I was dealing with. But I signed up for more than I can handle. Kane and Izzy used to be best buddies when Kane was about a year old. That changed pretty significantly. I'm scared to death when they go at each other because when the fights have happened in the past, they all required stitches and surgery. One time I was walking in the kitchen, Izzy started growling, Kane started growling, and he went after her. Kane grabbed Izzy by the back of the neck. He was just shaking her around like a rag doll. And I was afraid he was gonna turn on me because I was trying to get him off of her. And I could just, I could hear the cry. Finally got a hold of Kane's collar, and I don't have a lot of control, so I broke my finger doing this. But we let her go, and then I just had to clean up all the blood. And I, I don't ever want to experience that again. I was afraid he was going to kill her. And just last night, Izzy and Tricky got into it, and I had to pull them apart, separate them, and get them in the crates. So now I've got three dogs. They can't be left alone or together. Nobody's getting what they need. Can't walk them together. Dogs are with me 24-7. Can't have family and friends freely come over. I, I just don't want anybody, a dog, a human, to get hurt. I love these dogs, but this can't continue. If things don't change soon, my sanity is at stake. I've got to get this fixed so that my pack can be at peace because right now I live my life worried and it's just not good for anybody. I desperately need help.